Crafter Geek here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to place an edible image on top of a cake and cupcake. Um, the first thing you should know when working with edible images is to make sure that your area is clean and dry. Uh, if you get any moisture on this edible image, it's probably going to just ruin and smear your image. So make sure you are starting dry. Now you can put these uh, images on your own baked cake or you can, a lot of grocery stores will allow you to order a cake uh, that is just plain with no decoration on it. Uh, you can use it that way too. Uh, in either event, you want to make sure that your cake is room temperature before starting. Uh, this is true of edible images, fondant, marzipan, any kind of covering. Uh, the reason for that is if your cake is cold, then as it starts to change temperature, say it's cold, going down to room temperature or you know even just a little bit colder what happens is all those air bubbles are going to come up uh, and ruin your image it's going to bubble on your image now if you made your cake at home the second thing to remember is to let your cake sit for at least an hour after you ice it uh, same reason uh, air bubbles will come up off that icing um, as you're working with it, your cake is going to settle and it's going to ruin your image. So make sure to wait, wait at least an hour for all those air bubbles to come out. Now when you're ready to start work, working with your edible image, most companies' edible frosting sheets come sort of stuck to the edge um, and then it's loose in the middle uh, so it's easier to print on without it getting stuck in your printer. Um, now, the first thing you want to do is kind of work at the ends with either a butter knife or a angled spatula. Uh, I'm trying to use a butter knife because most a lot of people don't have the angled spatula. Uh, you can kind of see how easily this crumbles. So I'm going to show you. This is how you... And then just keep working it through as it pulls off. Now... I'll show you here how easy it tears. Uh, you want to just keep working with that knife to avoid those tears. Um, it also crumbles a little bit at the corner sometimes. So if you're just slow and steady with it and keep working around, you can get that right off. Now, if you need to cut the image uh, to fit a different size cake, uh, I recommend leaving it on the backing paper and trying to kind of keep them together as much as possible uh, because the icing sheet can be a little finicky. Uh, and what you can do is take a pair of kitchen scissors to make sure you're staying sanitary and just cut whatever shape it is. Cuts pretty easily. Uh, you can draw an outline with an uh, edible image marker, which they sell in most craft stores. Um, so you can mark out it ahead of time. And then your image will slide right off and be ready for placing on your cake. When you're working with a cupcake, uh, you can either purchase pre-cut uh, printed circles or you can cut them yourself with the, the method I just showed you. Um, if it is pre-cut, um, I like to put a little piece of tape. So if you receive yours with a little piece of tape, uh, the tape actually allows the uh, icing sheet from slipping around in transit and making all the circles pop off. Uh, you're gonna see so as soon as I cut, uh, the tape is always going to be where nobody's going to eat. And you can already see those circles are popping off. And it's really easy. You can just pop them right out. Just really careful. Uh, I iced the cake so it has just got a bit of a flat top. No professional job there needed at all. And then you just push your image on the cake. Props to all my geeks out there that know what this pattern is. Now you can leave your cake just like that, or if you want to get fancy, you can take a bowl of sprinkles and dip it around. 
And then you have a super fancy professional looking cupcake that will be the envy of all your friends. Before placing your edible image onto your cake, uh, just make sure that the buttercream is relatively smooth. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect by any means, uh, but any like huge uh, differences it, uh, could show through when you place the image and the image uh, settles into your cake. So just start with relatively, relatively smooth buttercream. Um, so I'm taking my cut image now and I'm gonna carefully run my knife through to remove the image from the backing. It's fairly sturdy. It's not as flimsy as you would think, but uh, still treat it with care. And then you sort of center it and take your time. Any of those wrinkles is going to stick right to the cake. So as soon as it has contact with the cake, there's no going back. And I'm just gonna gently pat down to make sure there's no big air bubbles. Uh, I find doing this with a clean, dry hand uh, is a lot more effective than if you have uh, one of those fondant smoothers because those fondant smoothers can take uh, the print right off. So. There you have it, your beautiful edible image. Um, once you're done with that, you can either um, decorate the sides. Uh, if you're crafty and have the tools, you can do an edging, uh, just a borderline piping around the top to even that out, make it look nice. Uh, or you can just take some sprinkles and start adding it around the border. So after about 30 minutes after putting your icing sheet onto your buttercream, you'll start to see it sort of meld and become one. Uh, you'll see that it's really shiny at this point. Uh, at this point, it's pretty much on there. Uh, you can put it in the refrigerator at this point if you need to. Just as much as you want to, don't touch it because the ink is wet at this point and it's gonna start coming off on your fingers uh, and smear your image. So I know it's hard not to do, but don't touch it. Uh, so you can make a lot of amazing creations, uh, either really simple or really outside of the box once you start working with edible images into your uh, cake baking. And uh, I am a professional at this, but I really want you to try this at home and let me know how it goes. Thank you for watching.